Congo Basin is the second biggest rainforest on the planet after the Amazon. We're smaller than the Amazon, but interestingly, our forests tend to be much taller, the wood tends to be much denser, and so often the carbon content of the African rainforest is as much as double that of the Amazon. And so in terms of climate change, we're twice as important as our surface area. When you add that up across the entire Congo Basin, it's an incredible contribution to stabilizing the global climate. There's some new scientific publications that have just come out that show that there's a, there's a very clear link between the rainforests of Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo and the rainfall in the Ethiopian highlands. So if we cut the forest down in DRC, not only are we going to be putting more carbon dioxide up into the atmosphere, but Ethiopia is going to lose its rainfall. It's, it's very likely that we have the same sort of relationship between Gabon and Congo and the Sahel. In all the rainforest models, they predict that over the next 20 to 30 years, the Sahel is going to lose half of its rainfall because of climate change. But if we cut the forest of Gabon down, it's going to accelerate that. So again, we'd have the feedback of more CO2 going up into the atmosphere, so more severe climate change. But at the same time, these regional rainfall patterns will become disrupted and probably things will get even worse in the Sahel. And so we have a responsibility here in Gabon to maintain this rainforest because we know that the people in the Sahel are going to die if our forests are cut down.